Hey there, uh, today's January 29th, 2021, and I just wanted to read a, a couple of verses to you from Isaiah 62, verse 6 uh, and 7. This is the uh, New King James. I have set on your walls, O Jerusalem, they shall never hold their peace day or night. You who make mention of the Lord, do not keep silent and give him no rest till he establishes and he makes Jerusalem a praise on the earth. And it just talks about the, uh, the pressing in and the watchman and, and staying up day or night and then, then um, God establishing praise or like a grace coming. Now I want to read the easy to read version, um, Isaiah 62, verse 6 to 8. Jerusalem, I put guards on your walls. They will not be silent. They will keep praying day and night. Guards keep praying to the Lord. Remind him of his promise. Don't ever stop praying. Don't give up any rest until he re re rebuilds Jerusalem and makes it a place that everyone on earth will praise. And I just, um, it's like, uh, just seems for me, it just seems that there's a breakthrough today. Um, and, uh, um, and so I just wanted to share that verse with you. Um, and uh, I'm going to add right after this video, a video I recorded yesterday on January 28th. Um, so the video that's going to come right after this is one that I did um, just uh, yesterday. Thanks. Hey there, I just wanted to share something encouraging. Uh, it was uh, this early this morning, there was uh, two things uh, that I felt that I had heard. Um, and uh, one of them was just before I woke up, it was just about the next kind of mutation or strand of COVID-19 um, fevers were not going to be attached to it. And so it was like almost like there's a, there's a lessening of it, um, of its strength. And uh, and then when I woke up, I, I wish I would have wrote it down word for word what I had heard. But it was along the lines of um, we're past the uh, high point, I think, or the the, uh, the strength of it. So I think maybe over these next few months or I don't know how long it's going to be, but that that, um, you know, we're going to, you know, life's going to start to return back and uh um and things are gonna th things are gonna change so i just wanted to encourage with that we'll have to just see how that uh, plays out and all that but i think that i just wanted to um um you know s just encourage people that um we could be possibly you know passing on the other side of this uh this uh uh world world pandemic um a few days ago i had heard um i got a word king art exerts Artaxerxes, King Artaxerxes, and uh, I've been studying it, and uh, um, I'm still studying it, so I'm not totally grasping um, the message that's in it, but I just felt to uh, to read the charge, um, Ezra 7, verse 12, so Ezra, Ezra chapter 7, verse 12, Artaxerxes, uh, King of Kings, to Ezra the priest, a scribe of the law of God of heaven, perfect peace and so forth. I issue a decree that all those people of Israel and the priests and the Levites in my realm who volunteer to go up to Jerusalem may go with you. And where is you are being sent by the king and his seven counselors to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem with regard to the law of your God, which is in your hand. And where is you are to carry the silver and gold, which the king and his counselors have freely offered to the God of Israel, whose dwelling is in Jerusalem. And where is all the silver and gold that you may find in all the province of Babylon, along with the free will offering of the people and the priests, are to be freely offered for the house of their God in Jerusalem. Now therefore be careful to buy with this money bulls, rams, and lambs with their grain offerings and their drink offerings, and offer them on the altar of the house of, the, of your God in Jerusalem. And whatever seems good to you and your brethren to do with the rest of the silver and gold, then do it according to the will of your God. Also the articles that are given to you for the service of the house of your God, deliver in full before the God of Jerusalem. And whatever more may be needed for the house of your God, which you may have occasion to provide, pay for it from the king's treasury. And I, even Artaxerxes the king, issue a decree to all the treasurers who are in the region beyond the river. And whatever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of God of heaven, may require, Require of you, let it be done di diligently. Up to 100 talents of silver, 100 cores of wheat, 100 baths of wine, 100 baths of oil, and salt without prescribed limit. Whatever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it diligently be done for the house of the God of heaven. 
For why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Also, we inform you that it shall not be lawful to impose tax, tribute, or custom on any of the priests, Levites, singers, gatekeepers, Nethanim, or servants of this house of God. And you, Ezra, according to the God given wisdom, set magistrates and judges who may judge all in the people who are in the region beyond the river, all such as know the laws of your God, and teach those who do not know them. Whoever will not observe the law of your God and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily on, on him, whether it be death or banishment or confiscation of goods or imprisonment. You know, I think I, I'm I'm just getting... God's dealing with religion and the religious spirit. He's shutting, he, he's shut things down in this last season, and now we have an opportunity to seek God and to 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 reestablish the Holy Spirit in us and reestablish the kingdom uh, of God on earth without the spirit of religion and without religious structures. And um, you know, Ezra. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it, and to teach statues and ordinances in Israel. That's Ezra chapter 7, verse 10. So, Lord Jesus, I just pray right now, Lord, and I just pray, Holy Spirit, for this uh, this charge from uh, King Artaxerxes. And he even says, you know, in verse 23, for why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? You know, he, he was there was a fear of God there to um to uh you know um to back Ezra in this and and those that were willing to go up and so right now Lord Jesus I just pray and I just thank you God that you would just lead us and guide us Lord that um you would help us to be able to seek you seek you for how you want uh, uh, your kingdom to be established on earth Lord and not man's structure and man's kingdom Lord so I just pray right now Holy Spirit that you would just lead and guide and I just declare your fire and your anointing, Lord, to be upon us. And, uh, um, you know, with uh, with uh, Mordecai, um, with Mordecai in the Bible, in the book of Esther, um, you know, he he stopped the ploys of, of the king at that time of being um, of being killed, you know. And uh, here is the here is the king. Um, um, you know, um, ruling their land and ruling them. And, uh, and here he's, his heart is to, to protect that King and, uh, and, uh, stop the plans of the enemy from taking out the King. And then we know the rest of the story with, with Esther, um, um, and, uh, and being able to, uh, be there for such a time as this and to be able to help save, uh, save Israel. And so, Lord, I just also pray for our hearts, God, that we would, um, you know, really see what you're doing and what government is upon your shoulders, Lord Jesus, and how you're wanting to to structure um, um, your will on earth during during this next season, God. And I just thank you, for, Father, and I just pray for your anointing and your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey there, I just wanted to add one more thing about prayer and intercession. Um, I think that, um, you know, uh, I definitely believe in like when you're up during the night and spending most of the night up in prayer and, and intercession and, and uh, that um, that brings a breakthrough um, and God may have that for a period of time. And, but there does become a time of where God establishes a, a grace or a praise uh, and uh um, almost like the sensitivity of when God has taken on, now the Lord's taken on the burden where, um, you know, we carry the burden in the place of intercession, but not falling into uh, striving or works when, uh, after a certain point, because I think that there could be a prompting, okay, you're released from something, but maybe um, striving and works keeps, keeps you kind of stuck in, in a burden or stuck in something that you're not supposed to carry as a burden. Um, but then I think of the, uh, uh, lately I got a, uh, word about Hebrides revival and, uh, you know, so I was studying that uh, a couple weeks ago and just how, um, you know, they, they would stay up all night. The ladies would stay up all night, uh, praying 
and uh, um, that was a key to the Hebrides revival was I believe it was two ladies that got a burden for the youth and they just stayed up all night in prayer and so um, I'm just praying and asking for discernment on exactly what um, you know to have the discernment of know what burdens to take on and when when to pray and to be uh, without being stuck in in uh, striving and works in that so thank you Lord.